never went into the car. I can't. What you want, Stace? Okay. What else? You can't see the menu? No. I know I want a fish. I don't think it's actually. order whenever you're ready. I'm listening. Is this Alexa? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Alexa. I don't see what I want. I just get can I get a number ten medium? Okay, and what drink? Ooh, Root beer? Do you want to add bacon and cheese? No, thank you. Got it. What you want, Stacks? What you want to have? Anything else? I want that. Yes, oh, hold on. I want that fish sandwich, but I don't see it. Me neither. Do you have fish sandwich? Mm hmm. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Here, can I get the meal? Fish sandwich meal, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, Stacey. What a Mr. Pib. Medium or large, and what's the drink? Medium with Mr. Pib. Do you want to add cheese? No. No, thank you. Oh, Got no it. Tater sauce. And no sauce. Okay. All right, and another number 10. Medium. He said Coke, right? Mm -hmm. What a Coke. Okay, and what drink? Coke. Do you want to add bacon and cheese? Yes. You want All bacon right. and cheese, right? I thought so. That's it. All right. So, Stacy got spicy chicken. I got spicy chicken and haven't got fish. Mm, I'm tired of chicken, to be honest. I kind of wanted the fish, too, but that whole uh, Alexa taking our order, really, it really threw me <laughs> off. It really threw me off. Oh, that's my. These are like trying to take it up the world. Over the world, honey. Just like that movie I just watched about the. Um, my, they say, you know, they, they not even going to have no employees. It's just going to be robots. It's just going to be facts. Because as soon as they learn how to make robots make our food, yeah. you ain't even going to need no people in the um, drive thru no more. Lady taking your order. I'm trying to find it, buddy. Because yours got cheese and bacon on it. Wait a you better eat that lettuce. I don't want it. Here. Oh, I have a um, napkin. Thank you. Alright, so we're eating at rallies today. Um, slash checkers. Why did you just say checkers? Because some, some of them are called checkers. And then it also says rally slash checkers on here. On the paper. Does it? Yeah. Hmm. They need to pick one name and stick to it. Oh, pick one. That's what I've been saying. Pick one. Oh yeah. All right. So we're um we're talking to Heaven today. She got a lot to say today. And, and when listen, when Heaven is ready to talk, you got to go ahead and get it all out, honey. Cause it ain't gonna happen for another month. Yeah, it might not happen for another month. You better go ahead and get it on out. But this is my daughter, Heaven. Heaven, you no, are no, how? It's not Heaven. My name is Big Hev. Big Hev, okay. not the little not one. Not the little one. Not not the little one. Big Hev. I'm 18. I was born in Newport News, but I okay. so I want to know, growing up, like how far back do you remember like things? Six ish. Six ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't remember when you were six too. So when you were six years old and up, like as you got older, how'd you feel about when you first learned about Stacy uh, being autistic? or like autism period because I actually had to explain to you you didn't really understand it didn't really change anything to me I still treated him the same it didn't change not to fool you I think the only thing is like because we was going to school is that I was just protecting him really you felt overprotective mm -hmm. you remember when I beat that boy up because he was making fun of Stacy it'd be like that sometimes you gotta beat somebody ass for your brother sometimes because I felt like that was normal I ain't like, even care you know I don't play with my brother and then they call you talking about you need to come get your daughter I said I'm gonna come and get her but I'm not gonna discipline her <laughs> ma'am she need to apologize I'm not telling her to apologize she not sorry I'm not cause I would do it again and she'll do it again <laughs> <laughs> and she'll do it again uh, uh, 
over her brother? Yes, she will. How like, people treated I didn't him. I like the fact that they were doing that because they know that he couldn't talk, so they was just saying anything. But, oh, his little sister is going to come and beat your ass is what? <laughs> exactly. So you told me, like, your sisters and brothers was always fighting for you. Yeah. yeah. Because I wasn't, I'm still not really a fighter. I don't like fighting. <laughs> you like tonight, y'all verbal fighters. Y'all yeah, I don't like fighting. fighting. I fight with my words, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So, but see me, I'll fight with my fists. You fight with these words. hands? Yeah, you can come catch these skibbity paps about skibbity anybody paps. in my family that I haven't got with. hands. Haven't got all state hands. Are you in good hands? Hands. <laughs> haven't yeah. got hands around the world. Hands. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? I ain't teacher because I don't even know how to fight. For real. Shoot. Because one thing about me, I'm calling the police. Mm -hmm. Mine good too. I ain't going to lie. It is small. But whatever. This was like I ain't going to lie. Um, the Let me see yours. They be having at McDonald's. Put it in the camera. Mmm. It do look like the fish fillets from McDonald's. Do it taste the same? Mm -mm. But, I think when you started acting out a lot. Uh, acting out. So what grade was that, do you think? For you, what grade like was it? It was like um, us transitioning from the end of middle school to the beginning of high school. Oh, uh, okay. So probably like eighth grade, ninth grade. Mm -hmm. He started acting out, which is true. She's not lying. He had a little period in his little preteen years. Give what? Give. I'm still eating it. <laughs> I'm not giving you nothing. He was um, some of the things that he were doing were semi-aggressive but it was only towards inanimate objects he would never like hurt or hit or push anybody he would just break things and like punch holes in the walls and damage property you know what i'm saying just hulk smash all of it you know how when they when they released the hulk in that one adventures movie yeah. and, and tony had to beat his ass that's that's how stacy used to do. The only difference is couldn't nobody beat Stacey's ass. He was big. So, yeah, big buff light skin. Mm -hmm. Big buff and light. Mm -hmm. Now why you make me repeat that? <laughs> what it was, but I was on deployment and he was, at the time he y'all was with Grandma. And was apparently one? Grandma took him somewhere. You weren't there. Grandma took him somewhere. And he was starting to have a meltdown. And then, instead of getting in the car, like grandma asked him to do he proceeded to hit grandma's car several times and um, he did a little bit of damage damage i'm saying i'm laughing because i said a little bit of damage it was actually a lot of damage but he did damage to my mom's car and uh she ended up having to call me on some emergency red cross type stuff because you know when you're on deployment you can't really call i can't have my i don't have my cell phone i don't have service so she had to send a message Hmm? I was calling you on the payphone. Oh. Yeah, I had to pay for it. I had to buy a little card, and then, you know, I could call you. I could buy minutes or whatever. I was card, and at that point, that was the last straw for her. Um, and I completely understand. I never had any animosity towards my mom for this, but she had to call, and she had to be like, you got to come home now and get him. You have to, because she just couldn't. She didn't know what to do. She couldn't take it anymore. Stressed out, honey. So um, I had to go through a lot of hoops and strings and whatnot. Just to get here. But long story short, eventually they let me go home. I was in Bahrain at the time. And they let me go home and I took a plane from Bahrain to Africa. Was that when you to, came to guess how they much didn't pay for you? No. Nope. How rude. They said it was an emergency. That is an emergency. Oh they said guess how much the ticket was? Over a thousand. It was thirteen hundred dollars <laughs> for a one way ticket. From Bahrain to Virginia. Oh so that happened. But before I left is what I'm trying to say. Long story short. Before I left, I had this boss. So he was just basically telling me when he was a teenager, he used to break stuff too. <coughs> and he used to get in a lot of trouble. His parents used to beat him. Because he would just get explosive anger and couldn't control it. And then all of a sudden something is broken. So he said his dad bought him a big punching bag. That's where you got that idea Yep. His dad brought him a big punching bag. And then ever since he got the punching bag, he stopped breaking stuff. The only thing he would break after that was the punching bag. 
I think uh, that's why mostly when like boys get out of um, middle school, they go and do like contact sports like football, wrestling, oh, and stuff yeah. like that. That's a good observation, yeah. He needed that, an outlet, so we got him that bag. And at first, we had to make me and Heaven. We were working together. We had to make him go to the bag when he was he getting refused. up here. Yes, he refused. We had to make him go to it because I don't think he liked the action of punching the actual bag. But you know what we don't like? We don't like the action of you punching holes in the wall. We don't like that. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. You don't had to patch up how many holes? So many, so many holes. I'm an expert. I'm an expert. And one thing I know how to do is handle drywall, honey. And maybe he even might give you the skippity paps every now and again. Ain't nothing wrong with it, okay? Don't be ashamed. Because there's nothing. You're doing the best you can do and you don't know what to do, okay? But I'm here to tell you what you can try. Get them a puncher bag. Something to hit. If or they like sports. sports. Football. Say it wrestling. again, have him. Football. Wrestling. If they like sports, okay. put them in the sports. Because boys need a little more, you know what I'm saying? Girls are like, you can talk to them. It's okay, honey. When you're going through your emotions, you just do this and, you know, communicate that way. Boys, on the other hand, no. They don't like talking about emotions. They think mm -mm. they make them weak. Because that be being weird. It, it'd be the parents. The parents mm -hmm. be babying. Mm -hmm. The siblings don't do you that. You used to baby Stacy. I did. I did. Y'all heard her. It's true. I did used to baby. I tell them the truth, heaven. I tell them the truth. You they, sure? yes, I'm sure you they know. they know I used to baby him. Oh, we all know. They used know. To baby him. Omg, you remember that um family meeting we had where you were like, I do all the chores. Stacy don't do no chores. Remember that? Yes. I was. I felt so bad, honey. At first, I was like, girl, who you talking to? But then I let her talk, and I was like, you're right, because he didn't do no chores at the time. How old were y'all? Like. 15, 14, 15. I don't know, but they were preteens. And he didn't do no chores at the time because I did all of his chores for him. I did. Washing the dishes, cleaning laundry, vacuuming the stairs, cleaning couches, uh, the bathrooms, the freak. But I was cleaning up on Stacy's behalf because he wasn't doing any chores. Don't tell it. We telling it all. We telling it. He wasn't doing no chores. And, and it wasn't his fault. It was my fault. Because I wasn't telling uh, him to do no chores. There's nothing in there. 